What will win in a drag race between a Tesla Model S Plaid and a Chevrolet Corvette C8 that has been tuned to 1200 horsepower? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this Tesla Model S Plaid, which has been kindly lent to me by Busy Moto and Unplugged Performance. In terms of actual motors and stuff, it's a normal Model S Plaid. So three motors, one on the front, two on the rear, combined power output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,420 newton meters of torque. It weighs in at 2.2 tons, and in the UK, a Plaid will cost you about 115,000 pounds. This one, as you can probably see, has been somewhat modified. As well as these racing seats, on the outside it has some aero that has come from Koenigsegg's carbon fibre division. Ooh. Maybe that'll help make it a little bit more aerodynamic at higher speed. It's also got a parachute attached to the back. Hopefully I won't need that today. It's also got new wheels and new tyres fitted to it. Apparently they're very grippy, these Toyo Proxies, and should help it launch perfectly. We're going to find out. To find out about that Chevrolet Corvette C8 that's been tuned massively, let's speak to its driver, who is a brave man. It's racing driver, Sam. Hello, Sam. Tell me about your car. Hello, Matt. Welcome to America Land. So we are in a Corvette C8, but it's a little bit special. This is a 6.2 litre V8 twin turbo. It's got 1200 horsepower, just under 1,500 newton meters of torque. Rear wheel drive, eight speed dual clutch, but it's a little bit special. They've done some flashing on the map with that. So it's quite clunky when you put it into gear. 1800 kilos. It's 95 grand stock, and then they've put 80,000 into it. And who is the they? It's all very covert, but my contact for this lovely car, who we have to thank, is a very nice man called Victor. You say it's covert, but on the um, rear of the car it says Piet's Performance. Yeah, they didn't want to talk about that. They wanted to talk about Victor. It doesn't say Victor on it, though. Details, details. <laughs> Also, you seem to gloss over something. I mean, you mentioned it, it was just like in passing. Rear wheel drive. 1200 horsepower rear wheel drive. Just, just in passing like it didn't bother you. I mean, I've got four wheel drive, right? This will launch brilliantly. The 1200 horsepower through the rear wheels. I know you've got special tires. Tell me about those. Maybe they'll help you out. These are from the drag racing type of things. These are radials, they're called. I don't know, it's called alien to me. It was like driving in a beach buggy on sand on stilts in a 1200 horsepower rear wheel drive car. But it's got radials on the back, which I'm used to. I've done that before and they normally have tires on the front that are normal, but this has got small drag radials on the front. But on top of that, because they're 15 inch wheels, they have to do a brake modification and put these itty bitty little calipers on. Thanks for everything, Matt. It was really nice racing against you. It's been a good couple of years, but um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Oh dear. Now, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow, right? So you can research your next car using CarWow with all our reviews, and then you can compare offers on whatever cars you're thinking about buying to make sure you're paying a fair price for it all through CarWow. Plus, you can also sell your current car through CarWow by uploading some photos, giving a brief description, and then dealers all across the country will bid on it in an online auction. Now, the whole thing is free and easy to use. So when it comes to changing your car, use CarWow. Find out more about that now by clicking on the pop-out banner up there or following the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date or you can tell your friends to do this. So all you have to do is Google help me CarWow and we will help you change your car. Now let's see if Sam's gonna need to change his underpants. I think he might. Oh, do you know what we've got to do? Oh, I don't want to do this, but it's, it's the rules. Let's do the customary car wow sound check. So, Sam. Rev up your twin turbo V8. I like the little at the end. Was that coming from your bottom or your exhausts? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> right, I'm going to do my sound check. So, right, I'm going here. Where do I do it? I'm going to go in here. One eternity later. Entertaining theatre, arcade, toy box. Sam, you win the sound test. This certainly won the sound test. But I'm not sure you're going to win the drag race test. Shall we don our helmets? Oh yeah. Bear with me. This is really grubby. Need to wash. Right. Okay. Sam, do you 
Do you wear one of these like head condoms when you put your helmet on? You have to in a race suit, in a, in a race. If you want to keep your helmet smelling fresh, then do that. Is your helmet a bit cheesy then? My helmet stinks, but my helmet's quite old and has seen a lot of action. <laughs> you look a bit like an ancient Egyptian, Matt. Is that just in general? <laughs> I was going to say less of the ancient, but looking at my face, having been out in the sun here all day, I did look a bit mummified. Just get into cheetah stance. We good. Let's do this. Three. No way that Corvette's got a hope in hell. Hello, how are you? Where have you been? I had a great watch of that car from the back. Just off the record, Matt, this was missing in that run. It wasn't a proper run, it was misfiring. Well, that's now on the record, um, but it's fine. I'll let you have another go. Do you want to go and speak to Victor, see what he thinks? Just let me know when you're ready to go again, because this will just put in the numbers all day. Well, all day till the battery's gone, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, and then the battery be gone and you get to stand in a petrol station eating junk food for an hour while you wait for it to charge. Sounds amazing. Go sort out your misfire. And this looks better than your car. Mm. And it sounds better than your car. <laughs> oh, close at that time. But, oh my god, this thing is so insanely quick. Oh, I was absolutely dropped. How was that for you, Sam? So that was a little bit better, um, but when I've been talking to Victor and his crew, I think they've only had it and this setup for like 500 miles. So this car is very much in a, a beta phase. So what I'm actually going to do is I don't think the gearbox in auto is ready to do it. So I'm going to shift and I'm going to short shift because there's a delay from first to second. And I'm going to try and mitigate that a little bit. The launch was really good that time. I don't think I'll ever beat you, but I think I can get it closer. Well, let's see. Let's try again. So Sam, um, normally it'd be best two out of three, in which case I've won. However, Let's do best three out of five. I'm going to give you another opportunity. Thank you so much. <laughs> another opportunity to kill yourself. Oh, we got a good start there. Gotta be game over, yeah. This thing. Ooh. You're just not gonna do anything, are you? How dare you? That launch was better than yours. Yeah, I know, but it's irrelevant. It certainly isn't. The only bit of skill in this race is the launch. Everything else is done by the computer. The timing is what we're doing, and I won. That's one to me. <laughs> Okay, do you want another go? Yeah, I want to beat you twice. Say it, say you launched better than me that time. I did not launch better than you that time. You were better at launching than me, absolutely. But you still lost. Yeah, that's really fast. <laughs> but do you know what, do you want one more go? Do you think you can get closer? I mean, I can try and stay in the lead a little bit longer, but I'm never going to beat you if that makes sense. Let's see if you can be in the lead a little bit longer. No, I have to beat him on the launch. I absolutely have to. I will crush him. Crush him. A few minutes later. Wait a minute. We have a bit of a development. It appears that there's quite a bit of oil over the back of that car. I think we better find out what's going on. So Sam, what's happened? He said some mechanic -y things. It's basically burning <laughs> some oil. Uh, okay. And it's bleeding a bit of oil as well, losing oil. They're, they're not too worried because they say they're going to take the motor out soon anyway so they're happy for us to finish it okay so, so do you want to do another race yeah we're good we've just had a thumbs up he's good yeah really so his car is spewing oil out of the back yeah 
but that's absolutely fine yeah. to do another race. Yeah, and at no point is anyone concerned about me. That's the fun bit, isn't it? But that's fine. I know, I know my place. You're totally replaceable. I know, I know. You're, no, you're not. To me, you're irreplaceable, Sam. So, do you want to do another drag race? Um, I think it might be more interesting in rolling to see how things go that way, but it's up to you. You're the boss. Oh, do you want to do a, like a roll in, or would you rather just do like a third gear? I know. Let's let's roll in. Keep Jack in the middle, and we'll you set the pace. And when we just get next to Jack, we'll floor it. Do you reckon you're going to be quicker? Probably not, but you know we're here. Or do you want another drag race to see if you can out launch me again? I would like to out launch you again. <laughs> I bet you would. Let's do that. Okay. No. So in your desperation to beat me, you massively jumped that. I will not have that. Stewards, did I jump the start? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, Matt, you did jump the start. Ah. <laughs> ah, yes, that's two wins now. That's two victories. This will be three all if I get the next one. Okay, new rules. It's not to the quarter mile, it's to the, the meter. First meter wins. Correct. What does Vin Diesel say? Family. No idea. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. That's twice in a row I have won. But <laughs> you've won your own little game. Let's say, okay, two each. Although it's not, it's like not two each, but anyway, let's go one last time. Now, don't get all pressured, Matt, and fluff this, okay? Because cheating twice in a row won't look good. So, just try and absorb the pressure and be calm, <laughs> okay? It's just a race. To the quarter mile. And that's the thing about this, I could be here all day and I'd still probably win. But yeah, let's, let's just do it. I definitely won that. Sorry? I won. What did you say, sorry? I won. Won what exactly? I beat you off the line. Probably for the first meter. Good launch. Well, good timing, brilliant. You won. 3-0 to Sam. He won it. He won it all. Yay. Let's do the thing and find out what really happened. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Tesla won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 9.6 seconds. The Chevy took 11 seconds. Okay, we're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. First to the cones. The two cones wins. What gear are you going to be in, Sam? All right, third seems good. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. I mean, no chance. Just coast. Okay, so I actually backed off well before the cones there because you were just disappearing into the distance. I nearly disappeared into that distance as well. <laughs> I know, well, I was worried about that. So I, that's why I just thought, well, I've got this. There's no point, you know, forcing the point home. I want to be able to go home. With that in mind, move on to what could be quite sketchy. What speed do you want to do the brake test from, Sam? 10 to 15 sounds about right. <laughs> I don't know, shall we say 60, 70, but going that way? I mean, let, let's do it at the quarter mile. Let's do 70, okay. So for that rolling race, what gear were you in? Second? 
No, no, that was third. I reckon second was over revving, it wasn't right. I reckon another maybe 60 and third would have been about right, but it wouldn't have changed the outcome. This just would have performed a little bit better. Well, there you go. Okay, now we have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. The car which stops in the shortest distance wins. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, 70. Good level, young Samuel. Here they come. Braking will be interesting. Yeah, I can see from here how skinny your front tyres are. I know. Wow, that was good, wasn't it? Well, it was, sort of was from my point of view, because I won that, but I think you were severely handicapped with your front tyres, so I'm not that smug about it. Also, through this entire like video, the car has been popping up brake overheating warning signs, so I think in some ways I, I also lose. Yeah, that's a heavy car going at a massive rate of knots, isn't it? So I think we can forgive the brakes on that poor Tesla. Anyway, I want to say a huge thanks to the people that have lent us these cars, so Busy Moto and Unplugged Performance, and thanks, Victor, for the Corvette C8. Hopefully, your engine isn't too bad. It's just um, burning a bit of oil. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know about something you'd like to see me drag race next in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos, and on that box there to go to Car Wow to see how these cars quarter mile times compare to everything else we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching, see you next time.